Timmy! Timmy! This is Timmy. Timmy is a complete noob when it comes to electrics in Rust. And he constantly electrocutes himself. So today I'm going to be showing all the Timmys out there how to do the top five circuits in Rust console. All the circuits we use today will be powered by this windmill and the battery, but you can use what you like. For the first very basic circuit, you're going to need a wire tool, a siren light, and a switch. Place down your siren light, place down your switch, take power from the battery into the power input on the switch, which provides free outputs that you can wire into anything you like. Wire it into your siren light, turn on the switch, and this is how you control the power that goes to the item you want. For the next circuit, you're going to need a wire tool, a turret, and a laser, or any kind of trigger. First place down your turret, then place down your laser or the trigger that you've chosen. Take power from the battery into the laser, and then power from the laser into the turret. Now, whenever you cross the laser, the turret will be powered. This circuit can be used with any trigger in the game. The next circuit, you're going to need a wire tool, a laser, and an audio alarm. Place down your audio alarm, then place down your laser or your selected trigger. Take the power from the battery to the laser or your chosen trigger and then into the audio alarm. Using the laser or a number of triggers you can be notified when anyone is in or around your base. For the next circuit you're going to need a door controller, a wire tool, a laser and a door. Place down your door controller and then pair to door while the door is still unlocked. You can then lock your door you're going to want to place down your laser or your selected trigger and just like before take the power from the battery into your selected trigger and then from your selected trigger into the door controller now whenever you trigger the trigger the door will open For the final circuit, you're going to need an RF transmitter, RF receiver, wire tool, RF pager, and a Tesla trap. First off, place down your Tesla coil. Then place down your receiver. Take the power from the battery into your receiver. And then from your receiver to your selected object, in this case is a Tesla coil. Set the frequency on the receiver to the same frequency you're using on your transmitter. Otherwise it won't work like this. I totally forgot. Set the frequency, I'm using frequency two. Now whenever I trigger this, my pager will alarm and I can trigger it from far away. I'm not sure what the range is, but as you can see, I used it from quite far away. I hope this helped all the Timmys out there become electrical chads. And if this did help you, please consider dropping a like, a comment, and maybe even subscribing. Also check out this video at the end here to see a solo chad snowball. Until the next one, peace.